Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here today because today I'm finally back to film another installment of TV Avatar. So if you don't know, if you haven't seen my previous videos, TB Avatar is a game developed by G from Crossed, which I use to determine my TBR for the next month. So today I'll be determining my TBR for January using this game. I didn't play this game in December because I had so many books to read in December, so I skipped the game in December, but I'm back now for the January TBR. And there have been a couple changes, I think, because I'm not sure I'll be able to make these TV Avatar videos every month. So there is a chance that this will be now every other month, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, I still want to be on book buying event because I have still lots of books that I want to read and I don't want to buy all the new ones and I'm running out of space where to put the books. So I want to kind of put myself on the book buying ban. And so that will still be the case. While I'm playing to be Avatar, I'll be on book buying ban. What this means is that for each book that I buy throughout the month, I'll take one step back on the board. And this will apply also to the books I'll buy during the month when I didn't play TV Avatar. So uh, this applies for November when I had TBR set by TV Avatar and also for December when I didn't, when I read any, like all the other books that I wanted to read. But I also set myself a little bit, uh, so it's a little bit more difficult for me. So if there is a month that I uh, didn't play TV Avatar and I bought a book that month, uh, I will have to read that book or one of the books that I bought that month the following month. So I didn't play TB Avatar in December. That means that any book that I bought in December, I either, if I didn't read in December already, I will have to read it now in January. If I don't, then I will roll a die at the beginning of the next TB Avatar round uh, to decide how many steps I'll go back for that. So that's gonna be like a bigger punishment for me. So more motivation to read the books I actually buy. Um, so that's that. Also, January is the month of Be sure that is hosted by Sasha from The Wild Sasha. And this is based on the Wayward Children series, I think, by Shannon McGuire. And I never heard about this series, but uh, I really like Sasha and her YouTube. And so I would like to join this and I decided to yeah, give it a try. So I will also discuss my TBR for this readathon and how this readathon works at the end of this video after I said my TBR also from already from a TBR Madar. So yeah, let's recap how the November went because I played TBR Avatar for November and there I got four books I think, so five rolls, four books. So let's just go through it. Uh, first roll we had D20 and from D20 I got Ariadne and I read Ariadne so this is a good point. Then the second roll was read a book longer than 500 pages, for that I read Darker by E.L. James and I did read that. Uh, third roll was a prompt card and this prompt was you can read raw next round when you want, if you want. So that was a no book. Fourth roll was a Cabbage Pot and from Cabbage Pot I got The Man Who Played With Fire by Jan Stoklasa which is a true crime about Olaf Palme's murder in Stockholm 30 years ago. And I started listening to this book, I had it on audiobook and I really enjoyed first 50 pages or first 70 pages, something like that. And then it got, it got really info dumpy and I just didn't follow and I didn't enjoy it at all. So I gave up on that, I didn't finish it. That doesn't mean I will not try in the future again, but at that point I just didn't feel like forcing myself through another 400 pages of that. So I didn't finish it, but I still can't it because I tried and I'm not gonna force myself to read books I don't want to read. So I still count it as a good try. And then the last book was The Sneak Peek. So I took a book from Ray's TBR video and that was The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert and I did read that. So I completed four books out of four. That means four steps forward. And now how many steps backwards, because how many books did I buy throughout uh, November and December? I don't count books that were gifted to me, so only the books that I bought or got on NetGalley actually. 
so let me count that seven books so seven steps backward and that's where we'll start also one other thing uh, in November there was a Milivetan hosted by Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and he had uh, 30 prompts for that and I did take part but I only used six prompts and I have all 24 left and I was wondering what to do with them so I decided to use these prompts from Milivetan for TB Arbatar until I use up all these instead of the prompts from G's game or the prompts that I created. Uh, so I want to use all these 24 left prompts and when I get out of these then I'll go back to the prompt cards. So that's that and uh, without further ado let's jump right to it. Roll number one. Okay so here we have the board. Last round we ended up on this point here. So we said uh, four steps forward and seven step backwards that means three step backwards. One, two, three. So we start here. This doesn't do anything though because that's just where we start. So let's go for roll number one. And we have three. And one, two, three. We go again to the sneak peek. Okay, so roll number one was sneak peek. So now I'm going to record my screen and go to YouTube. I'll go to my subscriptions. Maybe I can find some TBR. There was Poppy War on the pile. I didn't see her talking about it, but I do have Poppy War and I really want to read. So I think it's going to be the Poppy War. Wow, another huge fantasy. Great. Uh, I don't have physical copy. I have it on my Kindle, but the Poppy War it is. That's the first book. Okay, let's go for roll number two. Okay, roll number two. And we've got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bending scroll. And bending scroll means that I either get to buy a book or read a book from a library, which is perfect because I have some books from library I need to read. For all number two, we get bending scroll, which is either buy a book or read a book from a library. I don't want to buy books because I bought enough. So I will be reading one from a library and that's uh, gonna be The Transition Baby by Tori Peters. I didn't get to it this month in December so I really hope to get to it next month and since it's from library I really should. So this is the next book on TBR. So let's go for roll number three. Okay we are going pretty fast so far so let's go for roll number three. Oh, I just jinx, jinxed it. It's one. Oh, I knocked myself out. And that's one. So we'll go for a prompt from Believeton. Okay, and roll number three, we got the prompt. So we got to use the Believeton prompts, the really pretty colorful ones. So I can just... I don't know what they are. I, they, I put them in here so long ago, it doesn't matter if I stir it or whatever, mix it. So I just pick this yellow one. And yellow one, I hope you'll be able to see it. There are riddles on this because this was for Believeton, so bear with me. I don't know, can you can you see? It is a book that was adapted. Okay, so for this one book that I, that's been on my TBR for long, very long, and that's The Trial by Franz Kafka. This is for one of my other videos. I decided to read this back in September, I believe, so this will be finally done. So Franz Kafka, uh, the trial. So let's go for roll number four. Okay, roll number four. And we've got one again. And that means slow down. And slow down means take one book out of this month's TBR. That's interesting. So yeah, we'll, we'll see which book we will take out at the end of the game. Okay, roll number four was uh, slow down and take one book out of your TBR and we'll see, we'll see what the roll number five brings and then I'll decide which one I'd like to take out. So let's go for roll number five. Okay, and we have last roll and I really don't want one because then we would have to go all the way back. So let's see what we'll get. Ooh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This means roll again. Yeah, so I roll again. 
and that's a four. What does four mean? One, two, three, four. Aiba! And that means, I think, forward. Wow, look at me jumping all the way. But that's an empty spot, so that's a prompt. And that's roll number five. Okay, and the last roll was prompt again, so I'm gonna pick another prompt. I've got one, I've got one, I've got one! Ooh, yellow again. Okay. What does it say? Can you tell me? Read a cover by. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. It will be this one. <laughs> this is uh, from library. I actually got it in library yesterday when I went to library, but I did buy this on Kindle long time ago um, because it was on sale and I loved the cover. So this is definitely a cover by. And this is also Patreon book club for uh, G for this month, for December, so I have to finish this by, well, either uh, December, uh, January 2nd, which is very early, but I still haven't read it and I still want to have it read, so it comes on to the pile. So, there you go. Okay, I don't know which book I should take out, that would mean it's three books. Um, I think four books is a good number. And I want to read all of them. So we've got the Poppy War, which is a high fantasy. It's written by R.F. Huang, I believe. And it is uh, about war. That's all I know. And everybody's talking about it. And I absolutely love the look of it and the sound of it. So I definitely want to read that. And then we have The Transition Baby. It uh, was also nominated on the Goodreads Choice Awards this year. It was shortlisted for, for Women's Prize. I think I talked about this book already last month because uh, I wanted to read it last month. But this is yeah about the three characters. One of them is a trans woman, I believe, and wants to the transition back to being a man. And it just follows their story. Uh, then we had Franz Kafka. That tri the trial, I have no idea what this is about, it's a classic, I have no idea. And then we have The Shadow of the Gods, which is a, again high fantasy, I have no idea. It is dragons, so I'm sold. <laughs> so I'll tell you more about it when I read it or when I read them. Uh, so these are the four books I'll be reading for uh, TB Arvatar, plus The Poppy War, and then I'll be reading Elantris by Brendan Sanderson, which is the Patreon pick for January. So uh, I'll be reading this. This is the first book Brendan Sanderson ever written and the first book I will be reading by this author. So I'm really curious to see how it is, how it goes. And then I have a couple other books I want to read, but we'll see if I manage to squeeze them in. What I want to talk about now is Bisharathon, hosted by Sasha, and this is based on these books, I, I borrowed only one for now, and it's really tiny book as well, look at that. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's based on these books. There are five teams, four of them are if you know which house you belong to, and fifth one is if you don't know. And I'm the one who don't know, so I will have to do prom one prompt from each of those houses and Portal Fantasy book. So for the Portal Fantasy, of course, I will be doing Every Heart a Doorway, which is the first book in the series, and this Be sure is based on this series, so I decided I'll, you know, read the series it's based on. Uh, I have actually no idea what it's about. I believe it's an adult fantasy. That's how it was tapped in the library anyway, so we'll see, but uh, it's a really short book, and I'm really curious to see what I think about it, because I heard some people love it, and some people think it's not good at all. So, we'll see. This is the first book on in the Be sure And then I'll try to fit the rest of the books I already picked for the other four prompts. So, for the team Fairyland, I'll choose the colorful prompt. And for this I will be reading The Transition Baby, because it's a very colorful cover. Even though I hate it, I love the pink one more. And the other one, but uh, well, I have this one and it's very colorful anyway, so this is gonna be the second book for the Sheraton. Next theme is Team Lake. For this, I, uh, I can choose uh, Fantasy. And for this, I'll choose Elan Trees by Brandon Sanderson, because that one I'll definitely read in January, so I will be able to count it for uh, this readathon. The third one will be Team Mirror. 
And for Team Mirror, I think I'll do Standalone, which is the trial by Franz Kafka. And the last one is Team Underworld, and for Team Underworld, I will pick... It's a book club pick. And for book club pick, I have the Night Circus, which uh, we were supposed to read for uh, Book Babes Book Club in December. I still haven't gotten to it, so I will uh, read this one. And that's that. That's all the books I will be reading in January plus. Hopefully a daily education because I have it from the library, so I hope I will get to that as well. That is one, two, seven books, which is a lot, but it's doable. I've read that much uh, before, uh, even though some of them are really chunky, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, hopefully Be Sure Return will be fun. I will put all the links down below so you can check them out yourself if you want to. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out my uh, November wrap up video, which I posted just a couple days ago. And uh, thank you. I will see you in the next one. Bye.